because he cannot walk. He has pain. He had uh, paralysis, paralysis all over his body. Help our son. Help our son. Man of God, help my boss. Help my boss. He has paralysis all over his body. Man of God, please help him. Paralysis, paralysis for, for nine years. I has a back pain, neck pain, legs pain. All my back, I can't work well. I can't sleep well. Thank you, love. Neck collar and back support. Man of God. You recognize Jesus as healer, savior, and the deliverer. So, stop it. Hey! Cet homme souffre de paralysie du corps entier. Il va emporter une minerve, un corset de tout son corps. Il a un problème au niveau de sa colonne vertébrale. Observe este hombre recibiendo sanidad. Él tenía una parálisis en todo su cuerpo y en este momento está recibiendo el toque divino a través del poder de resurrección de Jesucristo a través de la vida del profeta Tibi Joshua. Observe cómo ha recibido su sanidad. Stand up, stand up and walk. Don't help him, he will stand by himself. Here go, go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can walk now. I can, I can, I can walk now. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I can't work now. Thank you. 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 you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 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 Jesus, thank you, Jesus. 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 I can move my head. I can work well. I can see. Can you allow him, take him to where he will receive fresh air and eat and let us finish people that are waiting. So later he can come for testimony, please. So there are some people crying here. So the people crying. Let them receive. He will come back. Take him to the restaurant. Let him go and eat and rest. Later he will come back and give testimony. Because of time, because of time, there are many people waiting there. And you two are waiting. Okay, okay. And the testimony will take another 10 minutes. Okay. Let him go to the restaurant. Lead him to the restaurant. Let me enjoy the fresh air. Take him to the restaurant. Okay, take him there. Let him enjoy this here. Uh -huh. Look at him, look at him, he's happy. It has long he enjoying fresh air. He has been inside the bed because this morning. Outside, he can't come inside. Let him go and rest. Let the other people. Okay, can you hear from him? To God be the glory, we still have many more wonderful testimonies of what God Almighty did in the midst of the congregation just moments ago. And I know that you'll recognize the brother on the screen right now who just received an amazing miracle from God Almighty. So let's hear from him and may your faith be lifted up as you listen in Jesus' name. Sir, tell us your name and where you're from. My name is Mohammed. I'm coming from Lebanon. Thank you. And who are the people standing next to you? It's my friend and his wife. And tell us, what was the problem that had brought you to the church this morning? I had the body paralyzed. 
I can't move my neck, my back, some some my legs. I can't work well. Uh, was that why we saw you coming to the church in a car today? That you were not sitting down in the congregation, you were in the, in the car outside? Yes. yes. So tell us, how long have you had this problem of paralysis of the whole body? I have it since 2008, going to nine, nine years now. Wow, and, and how did it affect your life on a day-to-day -day basis? What are some of the things you could not do? I can't do anything well. I can't go to work well. I can't sleep well. I can't do anything well. It's giving me much problem in my life. And how did it affect you personally? Was it painful? What are some of the things you couldn't do yourself? I can't work well. Sometimes I can't get up to pick my phone up. I've had terrible pain. So you mean even just to answer your phone at times, you couldn't do it because of the pain, is that right? Yes. Okay, and how did it affect you in your relationship with your colleagues, your friends and family? You know, I, I, can't, I can't sleep well, even with my family, my, my friends every time complaining. I'm sick, going to many hospitals, went to many doctors, but there's no cure for it. Wow, so we saw when you came, you were arranging the vehicle outside when the man of God came to pray with you, and we saw you wearing this neck collar and this body brace. Tell us, what were they for? Sorry? Why did the doctors give you this body brace and the neck collar as well? Just for supporting my body, to help me reduce my pain, just as a support, that's all. Oh, so just to try and reduce the pain. They couldn't actually solve the problem, is that right? Yeah, that's it. So what was the doctor's next suggestion to you? Was there any other thing they could do for you? Uh, you know, painkiller, injections, and uh, they said that I, I need to make the operation, but I did not. So except for an operation, there was no other solution than what they had done for you? No, there is no. So when Prophet T.B. Joshua prayed for you today in the name of Jesus Christ, what happened to you? I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Come well, on, put your hands together for Jesus Christ! So we really want to, to, to feel what you felt at that moment. Try and describe what was it like when the man of God laid his hands on you and prayed for you in the name of Jesus. What happened to your body? It was a relief. I felt uh, something uh, come over me as a healing. Thank you, Jesus. And immediately you felt something come out of you, you were able to walk again, is that right? Yeah, that's it. Let's put our hands together for the miracle working God! And now, after the prayer, how are you feeling? How is your body? Feeling more better. Uh, uh, are you healed? Are you completely healed? I'm fully healed, fully healed. Let's put our hands together for Jesus! So now, sir, we want you to stand up and demonstrate some of those things you can do now that you couldn't do before. Do some exercises. How are you feeling? More better. Healing, healing, healing. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed, I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, let's see you walk. Come to this side. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus! This is what our brother was unable to do when he came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations this morning due to the problem of paralysis of the whole body and he, was, he came to the church in a car but now you can see him walking for the glory of God. Once again, put your hands together for Jesus! Okay, you can have your seat, sir. So, tell us once again, how are you feeling as you're moving and exercising and doing all these things you couldn't do? Are you feeling fine? Are you healed? Fully healed. Hallelujah. So now this lumbar corset, body brace and the neck collar, what do you want to do with them? Do you still need them? It's not my passion. I don't need them anymore. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just as Jesus Christ has thrown away the problem of our brother, so he has thrown away this neck collar and body brace never to be used again. So now we, are, we want to hear from you, sir. What is your word of advice to people watching you concerning the power of God? What is your advice? Whenever you are in such pain, you should go to God. Whenever you are in 
what do you want to encourage people about what you have experienced today through the healing power of God Almighty? And whenever you are in this pain, you should come to God, run to Jesus Christ. To God be the glory. Yes, when we have any problem, we should run to Jesus who alone has solution. So let us hear from some of the people that came with him this morning. Say you're welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Please explain who are you to this gentleman. He's my boss and he's my friend. My boss and my friend. Okay, he's your boss and your friend. And who is this lady that's with you? She's my wife. Okay, you're welcome, sir. So share with us what has been your experience of this problem in the life of your boss. Uh, for the past 12 years, we've known ourselves. We, he always complained to me that he has a problem of all his body. is always having pain. And each morning I come to work, first thing I do, I go to his office to ask, how was your body this night? He will tell me it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. And uh, besides that, in the place of work, people think he's wicked. Uh, because when he's in that pain, he will not be happy with himself. So for that reason, people who, doesn't, who are not close to him, we think maybe he's angry. So until, until I now discuss with him that there is a place you will go, which I believe that when you go there, you will get your healing. And that is uh, scorn. Then from time to time, I continue to talk to him on this very church. Then he now decides to have it on his mobile phone. Each morning, even what happened last week, when I came on Monday, he now called me. When I went to him in his office in the morning, I said, how are you feeling? He said, I am fine. Can you imagine this is what I saw on Sunday? And he now showed it to me. I was so excited. To God be the glory. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. And so now you've seen what God Almighty has done in the life of your boss and your friend. How are you feeling? I feel on top of the world. Because I have been able to bring my friend to illness. To God be the glory. Let's hear a word from your wife. Madam, you're welcome in the name of Jesus. Tell us your name and where you're from. My name is Blessing Ewodare. This man standing by me is my lovely husband. And this is our friend. And he's also my husband's boss. Every time my husband comes to the house from work, he always tell me about the boss and the friend. To the extent that, to the extent that he always tell, uh, tell my husband that, please, I know that your wife is evangelist. Please be telling her to always be praying for me. And ever since then, I'll be putting him in prayer. So every now and then, he always go to the hospital. To the extent that he went to Lebanon, his own country, for the for the test and the, everything. So nothing really come out of it. He's always on drugs. Even when oh, okay, we know if we allow you to explain the whole story here, we may not leave here today. But just tell us now on seeing what God Almighty has done in his life after the prayer of the man of God, what is going through your mind now? What is your joy? I hope everybody is seeing my excitement. What I want to tell the whole world, that is Jesus is the only the Savior. There is no other Savior anywhere. No deliverer everywhere. My happiness, my greatest happiness is that we could bring him to Christ. We could win him to Christ. He's a Muslim. So now, we are really happy that today, Jesus really performed the miracle. Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus. So we know our brother needs to go and rest now because he has just received this miracle. He needs to thank God Almighty for what has happened in his life. And we do rejoice with him that God Almighty has healed him through his word and by his spirit. We encourage you, continue to make God's word the standard for your life. And this healing shall remain permanent in Jesus' name. The people. Et qu'elle a souffert d'une paralysie pendant 9 ans. 
son cou, ses jambes, ses bras, ses articulations étaient bloquées par cette paralysie totale. Et donc il ne pouvait pas faire son travail correctement, il avait besoin d'aide, d'assistance continuelle. Et sa vie était devenue un véritable calvaire. Même pour prendre son téléphone, les douleurs étaient extrêmes. Il lui fallait prendre beaucoup d'antidouleurs. Les médecins lui proposaient une ménèvre et un corset pour soutenir son corps, pour pouvoir se tenir debout et pouvoir se déplacer un petit peu. Donc sans les médicaments, il ne pouvait pas soutenir la douleur. Et un jour, il a entendu parler de Manuel TV. Lorsqu'il est venu, le colonne de Dieu l'a touché, un homme touché de la foi. La puissance du Christ a pénétré ce corps et quelque chose est sorti de lui. Il a été guéri instantanément. Les membres qui étaient paralysés ont retrouvé la vue, la vie. Les membres qui étaient paralysés ont retrouvé la vie et ses nerfs ont commencé à marcher correctement. Maintenant, vous l'avez vu, se déplacer, bouger librement. Jésus-Christ l'a restauré par sa puissance, le grand guérisseur. Acabamos de escuchar la confirmación de sanidad en la vida de este hombre que nos visita desde Holanda. Él nos comenta de que él vino a la sinagoga de la iglesia de todas las naciones con un collarín y con un corset lumbar. Él nos comenta de que tenía un problema de parálisis, tenía como una parálisis total en el cuerpo. Pero luego de la oración de profeta Tibi Joshua, él recibió su sanidad. Acabamos de ver cómo él se mueve libremente sin ningún auxiliar para ayudarlo a movilizarse. Vimos cómo él caminaba y da la gloria a Dios por lo que ha recibido el día de hoy. Gracias a profeta Tibi Yosha en el servicio del domingo aquí en la sinagoga Iglesia de Todas las Naciones.